Hello, goblins and ghouls. So basically today I'm going to be talking about what I have gathered about the electronic music subgenre, two-step garage. So I'm not claiming to be an expert on this. I'm certainly not a music historian. Electronic music is not even my absolute favorite genre. But I did look up, you know, uh, some little facts here and I'm going to give my opinion on uh, the genre and uh, what I find interesting about it. Um, so basically, uh, you know, Two Step Garage, it's not to be confused with country western two step dancing. That is a, a different thing altogether. Um, basically, the kick drum is a signature of UK Garage, but Two Step has kick drums that skip a beat or they have a shuffled rhythm, or the use of triplets. That's my understanding. So, if you're not really that hip to that musical terminology, you know, you can go ahead and look that up, do some research, and yada yada yada. But that's actually apparently one of the main or primary differences here. Two-step is also considered a precursor to the perhaps more notorious dubstep genre. Uh, and, of course, dubstep seems unconventional or even not musical to some people. And uh, in a way, it seems to exemplify the public enemy lyric, you know, who gives a fuck about a goddamn Grammy? Though, ironically, dubstep artist Skrillex has won multiple Grammys. So even though it's not... Even though it's not the most pop-oriented electronic music of all time, it still is popular enough that, you know, you can have success in that genre or subgenre. Basically, like, all of these are mutations. It's kind of like how you, you uh, distinguish between proto-punk or proto-metal and punk and metal, when, like, to the outsider, it might all sound the same, right? But to somebody who's inside it, there are significant differences that others will not even perceive. Same thing goes with Two-Step Garage and a lot of these other electronic music uh, subgenre thingies. Like many styles of drum-based dance music, Two-Step Garage largely originated in the UK and contains many distinct influences both coming from the UK and other areas of the world. Simon Reynolds of The Wire characterized it as containing a general rubric of all kinds of jittery, irregular rhythms that don't conform to Garage's traditional four-on-the-floor pulse. So to me, it sounds it sounds kind of like a less boring form of music based on that. Anyway, so uh, two, two-step drum patterns have also been fused with so-called hard style to create a subgenre called dub style and uh, you can obviously expect to hear synthesizers drum machines and source audio from random places in addition to uh, different software being used to make genre specific sounds uh, most electronic music has elements of dance hall music and other reggae genres uh, due to the Jamaican influence, there is a subgenre called rhythm, for example, which is like a, a, you know, a Jamaican pronunciation of rhythm. And you might, you might hear confusing terms like hybrid rhythm style garage. And the word two step was coined in the mid 1990s in London, apparently. Again, I'm saying this based on my research, which admittedly is not that in depth. But it's, uh, it was interesting to look into this anyway. And by the way, if you're a newbie to bass and drum music in general and want a decent, relatively early example of it, feel free to check out the Prodigy's Experience album, released in 1992, which was among influential drum and bass albums. And, uh, you know, obviously you may have seen the Prodigy Especially if you're around watching MTV in the 1990s. They're pretty famous for their Firestarter song and also Breathe. 
Now, of those two, I definitely prefer Breathe. But, you know, I'm, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. But anyway, uh, moving on. Though some trace of the... Or though some trace the two-step genre to the 1990s, obviously can ultimately find roots in the 1980s and earlier to the aforementioned dancehall explosion of the 1970s, where remixes were pioneered organically before beginning to reach a mass audience. And, you know, before it was commercialized and some might say perverted, in a sense, by uh, sal salability. Well, anyway, um, hopefully I gave you a, a slight idea of what two-step garage is. Maybe I didn't. Maybe this, uh, maybe this episode is going to be trash. I don't know, but you, you can correct me if I'm wrong about anything. You know, obviously, try not to be a jerk about it. Um, but anyway, that's about it for this topic for now. I'm going to be exploring music more often in this podcast, as well as other things, you know, related to entertainment and pop culture. And it's not going to totally replace any sort of uh, political or social commentary I've done in the past. You know, this this is basically going to be the sort of podcast that has a wide variety of topics, practically anything I want to talk about, basically. So, um, yeah, have a nice day.